Montgomery County, a community of firefighters, friends, and family are, of course, mourning the loss of Thomas Royds. Team coverage now continuing with Jasmine Payute live in Bella Kinwood. Jasmine. Joe, as you mentioned, a crowd gathered today to remember that firefighter killed in the line of duty. The department now coping with another loss, one they say could have been prevented. A flag at half staff, black bunting draped over fire trucks, tight hugs that symbol solidarity. As firefighters with the Belmont Hill Fire Company recognize the end of watch for firefighter Thomas Edwin Royds. My thoughts, prayers. Well, to the family of firefighter Tom Royds. Chief Chaz McGarvey described the longtime first responder as a father of three who truly loved his profession. People who knew him say he comes from a long line of firefighters. I knew his family, Tommy's family, since uh, since Tommy was born. Uh, it's it's a shame. And the other two guys that got injured, I really don't know, but apparently they got hurt pretty good too. In April of 2021, Pennsylvania enhanced its move over law. It requires drivers to move over or slow down when they see an emergency or disabled vehicle. It's a simple task the chief is urging people to adhere to as they mourn the loss of their colleague and friend killed in the line of duty. He loved his job. We all love our jobs. And we know it's dangerous, as I said the last time. We, we know it's dangerous and, and, and God, you don't ever think something like this is going to happen. This tragedy, now one of two to hit the department this month alone. It hasn't even been three weeks since I stood before you regarding our last line of duty death with Penguin firefighter Sean DeMunk. Last night, tragedy struck, struck the Lomary Fire Department once again. And once again, we are mourning the loss of one of our own. A, a young man taken too soon. We're told Royds has been a firefighter since 1988. He was filling in for someone this morning when he was killed. Live, Jasmine Payute, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jasmine, thank you for that report.